Today we'll look at how to add a gauge thickness to a plate in the advanced steel management tools. So let's take a look at how to add gauges to the advanced steel management tools. So from the home tab, you're going to open up your management tools. Once that's open, you're going to go to the defaults, use filter box, and we'll type mapping. So once that's done, you'll expand the plate from the tree and from the subtree, select general. You want to make sure that the priorities one, two, three, the thickness and width is selected. Priority two, thickness selected. Mapping three for plates are off, and the rule for plates we've chosen independent from the plate contour. Once that's done, we can collapse the plate and expand general. So under the general subtree, you want to make sure that mapping is selected. Once that's done, Load settings in advance. Next, we want to jump home and open the table editor. Select open installed databases. Expand the aster base and type map to extern. And you don't even have to finish it because there it is under the aster base subtree map to extern. Now you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see that I've put in a 10 gauge I gauge 12 and put in the thickness. But this time, I want to try something else. For plate 3, I'm going to put 11. Sometimes you cannot have all of the gauges in because the the values are too close. So we'll see if 11 works. So for the description, I will put in plate thickness. Just put a little space there. And I'll put in 1.8. Make sure there's a space. And from the owner text to the left, expand the flyout and you will put in your, for this exercise, we're going to use test my company. However, you can put in from the options, my company, which is the author or create your or create your author for the company. For example, you could put in your company name, but remember there is a limitations of how many characters you can put in. So let's go back home to the defaults and load settings in advance. I'll collapse. And the next thing we want to do is update defaults. And that is from the Home tab, Settings panel. Additionally, you could go to the Tools panel and load settings in advance.
I'll now create a plate. And for the thickness, I can find one eighth. And I will name it plate. I'll go on my output and number the plate. Let me just zoom extends, hitting the middle mouse button twice. There's my plate. And now I'll just do a simple numbering. I'll change the start to one. And also, if I wanted to model this as a assembly, I could also do that. I'll hit the apply. OK. And there is the place. Let's create a drawing, put this on a sheet. And again, I'm going to use a user's category. I'll select, since there's only one plate, it doesn't matter. And I'll put it on an A size sheet. The drawing is being processed. Again, I will detail this as a standalone assembly. I'll put it on a B size sheet, starting at drawing number two. I'll select the plate and let's look at the part detail. So here we have part one, GA11 with the grade. And on the bill of the materials, which is a material list, you will have the plate with the gauge number. I can go to the document manager. Expand the details and also open up the assembly. And there you have P1, top and front, with the bill of materials structural list, calling the plate out as 11 gauge. And that's how it's done. So experiment, have some fun. Thank you for listening.